நம்ம இப்ப பார்க்க போறது ஈக்வேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரொட்டேஷனல் மோஷன் ஈக்வேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரொட்டேஷனல் மோஷன் In this equations of rotation motion, first one, update it. One object is rotate about an axis like this. X, Y, X dash rotate. What number of particles are there? That is linear velocity, change height, but angular velocity is the same. That is the same. First, first equation is rotation of motion. 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 angular velocity or object rotate aagumbodhu ad initial ah irukkira angular velocity omega naught nu edukkira and let omega be the final angular velocity so let the time taken for this angular motion is t and alpha is angular acceleration by formula we know that alpha is equal to rate of change of angular velocity that is d omega by dt the d omega na nartham change in angular velocity with respect to time change in angular velocity in both final angular velocity minus initial so i can write this as omega minus omega not by t whole irukku edukrom this one d omega in both change in angular velocity let t be the time taken for this object the t in the side kondu vandalama alpha t aiduma so the remaining is omega minus omega not the minus omega not on the side kondu poita this minus omega not it will become plus so i can write this equation as omega is equal to omega not plus alpha t so the apdi and the first equation of motion linear motion ku inda equations la padichirukom v into the final velocity u into the initial velocity a na acceleration linear acceleration and the time taken for the displacement we take it as t u t da edupom so anga final velocity ah inga par final angular velocity u into the initial you are also initial angular velocity alpha under the angular acceleration that linear acceleration t is the time taken so v is equal to u plus at in a rotational motion la omega is equal to omega not plus alpha t so first equation of rotational motion paathum next one na apdi eludite vandra first one omega is equal to omega not plus alpha t second equation of rotational motion so the object rotate aagumbodhu rendu different angular velocity irukku so angular velocity epovume change aagadhu constant ah irukum illaya so one complete rotation edukumbodhu how to find out the average total angular velocity edukumbodhu i'll go for since i have two angular velocities i'll go for this average angular velocity average angular velocity eppadi edupom this is given by since i have two average is equal to omega plus omega not by 2 so this angular displacement formula angular displacement formula is another angular velocity is equal to angular displacement by time taken by angular displacement in both it is given by the total angular displacement is equal to total angular displacement is equal to total angular velocity that is your average angular velocity into time taken average angular velocity into time taken ab average angular velocity is omega plus omega not by 2 into t this is theta inge omega plus omega not ulla the 2 inge kondu vandru omega eduthu polama so here i have we know that already omega is equal to now omega not plus alpha t so i can write this as the omega ku badala first equation of motion la potturukuma adu apply substitute panna omega not plus alpha t omega ku badala omega not plus alpha t idha da first equation of rotational motion la potom e plus alpha omega not by 2 into t inda 2 indha side kondu poyidalama appo 2 theta aiduma ipo indha t appadi ulle kondu varalam already idu omega not omega not inna aidum 2 omega not aidum so i can write this as idha appadi eladalam theta is equal to 2 omega not plus oh alpha t by 2 into t appo indha t e ulle kondu varalama so it will become 2 omega not t plus alpha t square by 2 aidum idu eppadi eladalam split panikitta 2 omega not t by 
plus alpha t square by 2. 2 2 cancel it. Remaining in arc, omega naught. So theta is equal to omega naught t plus of alpha t square. So now the second equation would compare panni par. Second equation of linear motion is equal to ut plus half a t square. U uh, under the initial velocity t plus half a t square in alpha t square. So second equation of motion we have seen. We will go for the third one. Third equation of rotational motion. Take the same formula. Theta is equal to average angular velocity. And the formula last year, second put on here, into time taken. The average angular velocity in the put on first omega plus omega naught by t. The alpha formula is equal to another. Alpha is equal to alpha under the angular acceleration is rate of change of angular velocity. We know that alpha is equal to omega minus omega naught by t. This is t is equal to omega minus omega naught by alpha or ma from this alpha angular acceleration and the average angular velocity formula is omega and average angular velocity into the omega plus omega naught by 2 so then put on average in all the render clear up at point divided by 2 the time taken on the I'm going for this equation alpha and the omega minus omega naught by alpha a plus b into a minus b I can write this as a square minus b square by alpha t the 2 alpha 2 alpha left hand side theta arca the 2 alpha in the side pound on the lama so it will become 2 alpha theta is equal to omega square minus omega naught square minus omega naught in the side pound on the lama so it will become omega square is equal to omega naught square plus 2 alpha theta so this is of the form the third linear equation of motion to the parathapar v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s yes. V into the final linear velocity in final angular velocity. Initial angular velocity 2 alpha. Alpha in here kanga A ka A into the linear acceleration. In here theta under the angular displacement. In here S into the linear displacement. So moon equation of motion here compare panni eladhikko. Theta is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square. Are they marrying omega square is equal to omega naught square plus 2 alpha theta. So, are they linear? Are they angular?